Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Ryan and Alex. Please tell your producers we're on air live, but you're a little bit low. Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live broadcasting on the Valder BB Show. And we're here to talk about your latest accomplishment. And if I can start with you, Alex, why don't you give us an introduction? Sure. Um, our show is called Pure. Um, it airs on Wednesday nights at 10, 9 central on WGN America. And uh, it's about... A community of Mennonites who are infiltrated by a drug cartel and uh, the repercussions of what happens when um, a couple of in industrious, uh, an industrious Mennonite family tries to drive them out. And, of course, you play uh, Noah's wife, Anna, correct? I do, yes. Okay. I'll come back to you and ask you how was it to be in... I don't even know if it's a subservient role, because I did watch that. She's pretty fierce. <laughs> yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you all about her. <laughs> okay, Ryan, okay, tell me about your character in the series Pure. Uh, I play Noah Funk. He's a newly elected Mennonite pastor um, uh, who discovers the, the, the drug trade going on in, in his community and wants it gone, wants to eradicate the drugs, get the community, his family, uh, and his faith just back to the way it was. And, uh, of course, uh, it's, it's, it's not that easy. And uh, he, um, in doing so, uh, gets caught up within the drug world himself and drags his family along with him, and, uh, and uh, the roller coaster ensues. This is nothing of what I perceive the Mennonites or the Amish, those uh, sequestered sects, be. Yeah. Because when I uh, looked at the uh, film and the trailer, I mean, they're doing things like the world. They're no different, but they spend all of their time being different. Uh, what does the, the, the writers want us to understand? Well, it's based on actual events. This is, um, uh, it's, it's, it's inspired by real events of uh, a Mennonite mob, as they were called in Mexico, were smuggling drugs into the United States. Um, because, you know, who, who would expect a Mennonite? And um, this happened for uh, quite a while, and then uh, when it was discovered, it went a little deeper um, than, than people had, had originally thought. And, and obviously, this is not a portrayal of all Mennonites. This is a very small, small group of Mennonites, but it's more of a, a portrayal of, of, of the faith and devotion uh, within these communities just to try to eradicate this, this terrible outside. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a perfect example of uh, an outside virus and that trying to eradicate it so that they can just go back to their simple ways and um, and but once you've got caught up in that can, can you can you do that can you go back to a simple life after experiencing something like that or can you go back to your beliefs I'll, I'll yeah. switch to Alex Alex uh, your character Anna says at one time something I thought was very profound she says I'm gonna do whatever it I must do to protect my family mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much lead forgiveness and the rest up to God. This is a sect that's very religious, very devout, but yet they're, I, I think they're trafficking cocaine? Uh, yeah, there's yeah cocaine and, and methamphetamines that are coming through the community. So there was a dichotomy just in her sentence of what she said. She's going to do what she needs to protect her family, mm -hmm. very earthly, and then I'm going to leave the rest of forgiveness to God. Mm-hmm. Mm. So are we supposed to take something, even though it's a true story, are we supposed to be taking something away from Well, I think that that has to do with Anna's specific value system, right? Um, she is, uh, she loves her family, and she loves her life, and she loves God. But I think when it comes down to, you know, to, to brass tacks, she's going to take care of her children. Um, I think that she believes that that is what God wants her to do, is to protect her children. And I think that, you know, what's going on in, in the world of the show is being trapped by choices that you don't want to even make. But when you're in that position, 
when you're when you're boxed in like that, when you're cornered like that, what do you do? I think if 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 we want viewers to come away with with anything from the show, I think it would be that question. You know, what do you do when you're faced with these impossible choices? Who do you protect? How do you take care of yourself? How do you represent your faith or your value system, your beliefs, whatever they may be? It's it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. This is going to be an incredible show. It really is. It's a show with substance. Um, I don't know just because it's real, but it's a really, really uh, something for us to think about rather than just watch it, be entertained, and say, oh, that was a good show. I think people are going to have something to think about. Alex, I'm going to wrap up with you. Sure. You've got, uh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to wrap up with you. You know, you've got this, this role as this leader and this and his husband and his father. Tell me, what did you personally take away from that? Um, I, I have to be honest with you. For me, I I learned so much. Of, I, it sounds very cliche as an actor, but I did learn a lot uh, about myself through this character. There's those times when you play a character and you think, oh, this is going to be so fun to play a character who's nothing like me. And through the journey, I, I I th- wow, we're actually we, we actually have a lot of similarities and beliefs. I mean, I, I love the, this idea of being off the grid and this this sort of simpler life and family and community. And uh, the the thing is, um, with 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 Noah and and this journey and the the family, I just find this all very timely right now. I think the title is timely. I think the show is timely. I think it's a really perfect time uh, for our show to 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 be seen. You know, um, and and I really hope. Uh, people gravitate to it and, and are as affected by watching it as we were uh, by making it. Yeah, I am impacted, and I hope my audience feels the same way. You gotta tune in. When do you want us to watch, Alex? It's uh, Wednesdays at ten nine Central on WGN America. I love WGN. They brought some really good series. They're doing some really good work over there. So tell them I salute them. Thank you guys for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I will be following you, and I want my audience to do the same. You guys know where to find WGN. Tune in. Support them. Thank you, guys. Thank Thank you you so so much, much, Calder.